since the Marikana massacre. The living conditions of mine workers have been the subject of debate. But today the winds of change are blowing here. The employee home ownership scheme by the mine and the National Union of Mine Workers will see each beneficiary paying only 2,700 rand per month to cover the bond, taxes and rates for a house worth half a million. This is the achievement. This is a milestone. We are very proud. We are very happy. The NUM says the country's wealth should trickle down to those less fortunate. The advancement and transformation of our economy must be seen not only as achieving sustainable economy, but perhaps more importantly, as a catalyst for economic growth. The Royal Bafokeng Platinum has expressed delight at the success of the project. Uh, we're trying to give mine workers uh, back their dignity. We believe it's an in, uh, integral part of, of, of doing business uh, because uh, if we are going to ask a mine worker to work safely, we want him to have experienced personal safety uh, from his home environment into the workplace. Over two billion rand has been set aside for the second phase of the project. While mining companies have been criticized for not adhering to the dictates of the mining charter, such as provision of houses to their employees, the Royal African Platinum says the objective of this project is to restore the dignity of mine workers and their families. Selotatai, SABC News, Rustenburg.